Hey everyone, my name is Dane, and uh, I'm a longtime fan of retro RGB, and I'm really stoked to finally get a chance to contribute to it. Uh, so to do that, I thought today I would go over uh, the recent firmware update for the Analog Pocket and what you need to do to get that installed. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we are at uh, Analog's website, and I will post the link to that uh, where you can uh, go here and uh, grab the download for it. Now let's go ahead and uh, read these release notes. So we've got uh, the dock. Uh, this, this one's really cool. The dock now updates via the pocket, um, which is great. Before you had to put a separate USB stick in the back. So I guess now we just have to put the firmware on the pocket itself, plug that into the dock, and it will update directly from there, which is great. Uh, the dock now has all original display modes as the pocket. So that means like the different uh, Game Boy uh Game Boy screens where you could switch between like the green and the Game Boy uh, Pocket and the Game Boy Pocket Lite. All those will now be available on the dock. Uh, same with like the LCD grid settings on the Game Boy Advance. That's great. Uh, the dock has new LED behavior. Uh, the BIOS uh, has been updated. Let's see here. It says BIOS update V1.5. Better messaging can now detect bad header, no header, and no cart. Uh, Shantae noise channel has been fixed. Uh, noise when starting a game has been fixed. Uh, I guess there was an issue with Wario Land 3 when you went through uh, Sleep and Wake. That has been fixed. Uh, I guess there was a bunch of issues with Golden Sun. They fixed all that up. Um, looks like there was an auto-detect fail on some Game Boy games. They got that fixed up. Uh, graphics issues on Mortal Kombat has been all fixed up. Uh, and just a whole bunch more stuff here. Um, so really cool. Uh, if you want to see uh, those full notes, you can just uh, go to the link uh, provided in the post. Okay, so actually updating the pocket is really easy. Uh, you download the firmware, and uh, you're just going to drop that uh, on a micro SD card right at the root directory. Make sure that there is uh, nothing else in there. And uh, all you have to do after that is unplug it and uh, plug it into the pocket. Okay, we are now taking our micro SD card. We just dropped uh, the firmware update uh, right on the root of that directory. We're going to plug that in. to plug it in anyway there we go and uh, power the pocket on and uh, you can see there uh, that that is going to start updating and uh, from what I gather this is going to take about three or four minutes uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut the video and we will be back when that is done okay so our pocket has been updated it was really that simple uh, now all we need to do is plug this into our dock and we should start our update Okay, and then you can see, uh, probably on the screen here, um, although I know it's pretty small, it says uh, your dock firmware is out of date and requires an update, which is included as part of the new current pocket firmware. No download needed, so we're going to hit continue. And it's going to, uh, you can see it shows the uh, 1.0b firmware there, so we're going to hit upgrade now. And uh, yeah, we're going to go through the same process. Uh, where it is going to start upgrading the dock. You can see that that has actually popped up uh, on my LCD screen back here. Uh, so we are going to uh, do a cut while we wait for this uh, to finish updating, and then we will look at some of the new features. Okay, our dock is now updated. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have uh, the switch dock uh, displaying on our LCD, and I've got it captured here, so I'm going to blow that up, and we can kind of take a look at what we've got going on here. All right, so it's like we've got uh, the usual tools, settings. Okay, so yeah, we have our usual uh, output settings here. All right, let's play a cartridge and uh, see where it is that we can uh, play with these screen settings. Oh, cool. So it looks like the LCD setting is already on. That's great. So let's see if it is uh, in the settings here. Okay, so it doesn't actually look like we change it from there. I wonder if we hold the button down. Ah, okay. So if you hold down, uh, I'm actually using the uh, Switch Pro controller right now. 
So you hold down the home button and then hit uh, left, left and right, and that will cycle through uh, the different the different screen settings, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it looks like this one is original. This is the SP101, which is kind of the, the fancy grid, but the colors are still real bright. Uh, it's interesting kind of seeing the difference between that and the GBA uh, LCD. Definitely a bit darker. And then uh, the original without uh, all the without the LCD grid. Um, but yeah, no, this looks this looks really cool. Uh, well, guys, I hope that was helpful. Uh, it's actually really easy to update your analog pocket uh, and your dock, especially now with the new firmware. Uh, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we will get a dock update soon where I can use my my DAC with it uh, and uh, get to see all this uh, over on the uh, CRTs there. Uh, but anyway, you know, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm really happy to get a chance to uh, contribute to uh, Retro RGB. And uh, thanks. We'll catch you next time. Bye now.